My name is Pasquale La Montagna. I'm an animator in the city of Toronto. I was born in Calgary, grew up in the Okanagan Valley in British Columbia, and since about uh, 2000, year 2000, I went to took the classical animation program at Sheridan College, and uh, since then have been working in animation in like 2D animation in commercials, uh, TV series. Uh, documentaries and uh, 3D for some video games and stuff and uh, yeah that's about it. A World Without End is about a conceited delusional villain who is basically in the search for all the power and the knowledge of his world uh, basically in a quest for immortality uh, whether he knows it or not um, and he's in the employ of a playboy king uh, who has more money than he knows what to do with. And he's got this group of gargoyle-like henchmen uh, who he discovered in an underworld and is basically using them as a means to, um, uh, to achieve his goals. And that's where it starts. Uh, we're actually more excited about um, people enjoying this than us doing this ourselves because we're just I mean we're just like ah oh, can we just finally get this thing out of the window and get it done yet um, the start of this was in 2002 and uh, I was in Sheridan College at the time and I just had these ideas running through my head about you know I like the series the animated series the tick and gargoyles and I just wanted to develop my own take on it uh, which was pretty lame. Uh, I mean, I had my ideas and stuff, but I, uh, I sent it to someone who I asked, you know, hey, do you want to work on this? It'd be kind of cool. But then he said he couldn't. He forwarded to a mutual friend of ours, uh, this guy Justin Pasika, and uh, he took it away. Uh, we, he took the idea, spun it on its head, and it's completely different now. When, in a nutshell, if you, if you like animated series like The Tick or the old Looney Tunes stuff uh, from Chuck Jones uh, or series like uh, Black Adder, um, The Thief and the Cobbler or Looper or Interstellar, uh, you'll probably like this. So the budget I know looks a little bit excessive. It is 61K, uh, but it is to pay the artists and people working on this um, a fair wage, uh, what they're worth for their services. And uh, it's gonna be over the course of six months. It's not meant to be an excessive budget. It's not like we're living a wolf of Wall Street here. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. Um, I do hope that you liked it, and um, if you want to donate, please do. We really appreciate it. Um, if not, share it with your friends or do both. Uh, there's, there's stuff on the bottom, little things for people who, uh, sort of prizes, I don't know what you call them, uh, for people who donate and contribute. And, uh, and yeah, I'll just let the animation speak for themselves, and that's about it. Thank you very much.